Here's a woman. She takes off her scarves. Okay. <laughs> Throws back her jewelry. <laughs> Begins to hunker down. She has found her space. Probably not like this. Okay. All right. And she realizes that um, her baby is coming. Sometimes she'll put her hand there. She knows she's in deep delta. But women are so amazing. Women are so amazing. They can be in all these brainwave states at the same time, by the way. I'll have to explain that in a minute. Give me a second. I'm having a baby. All right. <laughs> now, she's not going to be like this. It's a cord. It's not a bungee cord. Boom. You know? So women will hunker down and hunker down. And when I leave women alone, most women do not hop in their beds. Most women do not squat. Very few women get on hands and knees. Why? That's a caregiver position. Who would birth their baby like that? It's you giving the light. What would you do if this was just you and your baby and, and the archangel, okay? The person that you have chosen to receive the light. And yeah, you got a caregiver sitting right there, okay? Okay, so here comes the baby. The baby will come out. And what I see women do is they will get down on one knee. I just see this. It's very organic. Why? Because we don't squat a lot in our culture. And for some women, squatting isn't very, it's not solid, it's not stable, right? You would never get in hands and knees because that means somebody else has to be back there and catch your baby. And that's not what's happening here. You're down on one knee. This is so solid, right? Hmm. All right? You're not going to fall over, okay? You have total access to your baby. You're down low so that if you don't necessarily want to have access to your baby, if you want to be like, whoa, oh, oh, you can be, all right? There will be no shoulder dystocia. Why? Because if for some reason your baby is hooked on the pubic bone or something, what's a girl in labor to do? Oh, look what I did. I just opened it up and the baby popped off the pubic bone. All the things that we do for shoulder dystocia are caregiver directed. Women in this position can just go, and the baby will fly out, okay? <laughs> now, I, not every baby, but you see what I'm trying to show you? When women are in their organic element, they know how to get their babies out, and they do. And I, I don't even see shoulder dystocia. Why? Because there's a woman, and she's solid, and she has the archangel right here, Okay? She's made that offer. I am giving the light, and thou shall receive it. All right? And in many of the births I went to, it was the father of the baby, the partner of the woman, whoever that is. Okay? And that partner, their wings, you, if you're sitting over there watching it, you will see that she's here. She's in the breaker. She's pushing. Whoa! Here's the archangel. The wings come out like this. Honestly. And you realize... This is so holy. I am watching the creation of family. I see the giving of the light and the receiving of the light and the appropriate person receives the light. Okay? And I am a competent witness. Right here. All right? I don't need to be in her field. And the ark angel maybe the archangel will reach their arms or hands out maybe it's they both catch the baby maybe sometimes the woman is just like whoa because she knows the archangel's got her baby okay and she will birth her baby the way she wants to and the baby comes down and the most amazing thing that i see is that when everything is in sync like this the archangel often does receive the baby and you know what the archangel does puts the baby down. How, did, how does the archangel know to do that or why to do that? But the archangel just, just in, in such a sacred way, will just put the baby down like that. All right? And now comes a part of labor that I am very attached to. I call it the return. A baby has been born and laid between the mother and the archangel. All right? Have you noticed when you leave women alone, they don't pick up their babies right away? Watch videos. Watch women in the squatting position. 
Women don't pick up their babies right away. And I, I'll have to tell you this. When I was a young midwife, one of my wounds was people taking babies away from women. So what I would do as a young midwife is I would pick up a woman's baby and put it in her arms. And more often than not, a woman would look at me like, like what, what are you doing? Like, don't, don't, don't you get it? And I was like, whoa, my wound. Sit back, Wapio, and watch what is organic. And I finally saw how women don't pick up their babies right away. Why? Because molecular changes have happened to them on the top of the mountain. And there is this place down here where they have to land again. And they need a minute. They need a minute. It's called the return. Because nothing is coming between her and her instinctual response to her labor. We are there to witness.